Good morning, it's Anne Murphy here from Domesplicity. How are you today? Uh, yep, I'm right on time today. Um, I'll just give everyone a couple minutes to um, hop on and we'll get started. I can't wait to um, tell you more about uh, the Shop Smart Eat Well program and how it works and to help you start saving some money on groceries because I do it every fortnight. So um, just let me check that everything's working, that um, I'm up around the right way in the group. I'm in the group. All these little technical things that um, can tend to go wrong, always do. Say hi if you're watching. Hi Catherine, good morning. How are you today? Yes, I'm up the right way, in the group, all the right things. So, uh, let's get started. Yep, I'm ready to go. Okay, so as I said, my name's Anne Murphy and I'm from Domesplicity. And Domesplicity is the place to call home. And home stands for homemaking, organising, making do, education. And I've been doing that for... 10 years over at domesplicity.com teaching people how to organize their lives and how to make do and also teaching people how to save money on groceries now also if you're um, not catching today's uh, facebook live um, live and you're catching the replay just let me know with hashtag replay in the comments um, so that i know that you've seen it and um, that it's getting out there also if you have any questions whatsoever please don't hesitate to ask at any time in the group um, about anything that I've done or anything that I share or anything that you need to know I'm here to help and I want to help you as well so I all these notifications keep coming up so a little bit about me I love food I love to cook I actually love grocery shopping probably taking it from the car to the the kitchen is is the worst thing and another thing that I really love doing is making something out of nothing so even that night before I do my grocery shopping or the second week of my um, fortnightly grocery shop I love the challenge of coming up with um, new and exciting meals using up what we've got and um, putting together a nice hearty meal and it's probably something that I learnt from my uh, mother and grandmother all those years ago how they used to put things together really quickly and I hope that through what I share here in the group will help you um, learn how to do that just learning what foods go with um, with other foods and uh, what ingredients work well and how you can substitute ingredients instead of running to the store to to buy that one thing and spend fifty dollars and um, all those little tips and hints and tricks so I wanted to talk about the shop smart eat well program in particular and how it all came together and it's basically just that it's the only way I've ever known how to grocery shop it's how my mother did it it's how my grandmother did it in fact I don't think my grandmother went to the supermarket very much she was pretty self-sufficient she used to only buy um, pantry um, pantry items like sugar and flour tea those sorts of things um, it was it was just something that I knew and then when, um, in 2017, you know, like I'd been watching it for years on TV and watching other people, other bloggers and other um, people talk about the shop smart, uh, about saving money on groceries. And they'd be saying all these things like, well, you've got to check the supermarket catalogues for the cheapest items. You've got to go to Aldi and Coles and Woolworths and get all the specials. You've got a meal plan, you know, that's going to save you heaps of money. And I just sit and watch these, you know, snippets on the current affairs programs or on the news or read these people's uh, blogs and just go, you know, what are they doing? Why have they overcomplicated this process? It's, it's, there's nothing to it. It really is as simple as just buying the ingredients that you need for the, the meals that you need to make. It's, it's, it's all I've ever known. So what I decided to do was formulate all of that formulate how you know the actual steps involved 
um, which aren't many. It's not a complicated process. You know, I just sat down one day and wrote down, well, how is it that I grocery shop? Because I don't even know what it's like to meal plan or, or go through all the sh supermarket catalogues. I just don't do it. I've never done it. Um, so I sat down and I formulated some ideas and I thought, well, this is, this is how um, someone brand new coming into wanting to know how to save money on groceries could do it. You know, you'd have to do this and you have to do that. And then all you're doing each grocery shop is just topping up that stock that you um, need to make that food that your family will eat. And what came out of it was the Shop Smart Eat Well program. I named it that because, you know, I want people to shop smart. I want people to eat well. You know, that's what we do. I'm um, conscious. I may not be in the best physical um, condition myself because I love what I bake and I eat too much of it. But, you know, I'm, so I'm conscious about the food that I, I serve my family. You know, I try to serve the five a day and the two serves of fruit and they're getting enough protein and dairy and um, healthy fats, all those things. So... Um, I'm very self-conscious of that and I wanted to just formulate it into this um, program I guess and that's when the Shop Smart Eat Well program came about back in 2017 and I thought well how am I going to get it out there to people and you know I, I ran a little uh, local um, a workshop in my local area and I had a few ladies come up and they were just like what you know like this is this is amazing. How how come I didn't know this before? Like, where have you been hiding all my life? And I said, well, you know, it's it's not like, without being sounding demeaning or anything. It's not rocket science. It's it's just what I've always done. They said, wow, you know, <clears throat> you're going to save me so much money now. I can't believe I never knew this before. And then you know, the word started to get out. I ran a few more workshops in other areas of Brisbane where I live, and um, I thought I just you know. There's a lot to it, you know. I I printed all the um, the worksheets out, and I provided morning tea, and I had some prizes, and would you know there'd be an hour set up beforehand, you know, an hour for the workshop, an hour probably afterwards, and and going home. So I thought it was probably a lot a lot of effort on my part, and you know, getting people into the workshops as well, and taking time out of their day, uh, that. I thought there's got to be a different way. So that's when I decided to create um, the online, uh, the workbook online in the form of an ebook, and the whole world can have it then. And, you know, I, I thought, well, you know, I've taken into account all that time on how, how I could, how I created the workbook and all the effort I put into it and, you know, came up with the price and, then I thought, well, some people are starting to, you know, ask a lot of questions about it and they weren't really sure. So then I decided in November last year that I would offer a one-on-one -on -one service where I would do that for the for the person. They told me told me what they wanted, what their family ate, and then I formulated the whole program for them and uh, set it all out for them so that all they had to do was um, basically check their pantry against the information that I um, had formulated and go and do a grocery shop and you know people were amazed by that they were spending three hundred dollars and then they reduced it to a hundred uh, another lady who just recently um, bought the shop smart eat well program um, she was spending two hundred dollars for a week for her uh, her family of um, two boys an 11 year old and a five year old and she is now spending um, no no more than a hundred a week, ninety five dollars, ninety two dollars her grocery bills come into. Good morning, Melanie. Nice to see you here too. Thanks for joining. So I then thought, well, I'll run that again in February this year. I had another um, one on one session um, with people, and I opened the spaces up uh, to eight more people. And I offered heaps of bonuses. I offered them recipe books, some um, free produce bags, reusable produce bags, uh, heaps of discounts. And then I, I think it was uh, March or April this year, I did a group um, program in a private um, Facebook group. And all of all of these times that I opened up um, these one-on-one um, -on -one 
programs that I offer, one-on-one -on -one done for you type um, services and um, the group program, I thought I'd ask for feedback, you know, I'd get feedback from people. I'd say, oh, you know, like I've had it going now for 2007, from since 2017, the Shop Smart Eat Well program. How come, you know, you didn't um, buy the workbook or find out more about the program? And they just said, well, it was a little bit expensive. And I said, well, you know, I put a lot of work into it. You know, I should probably get some um, monetary reward. And then I had to think about it and I thought, no, that's not that's not the uh, reason why I created it. The whole reason why I created the Shop Smart Eat Well program was to help people save money. So I don't want people to go and spend, you know, $100 or $50 on the program um, you know, it's all done for you. All you've got to do is basically put in your um, the ingredients that you, you that you need to to make um, the meals for your family, <clears throat> and all the other things like toiletries and cleaning supplies and things like that that you normally buy. And I just thought I've got to make this more affordable. I've, I want people to know this stuff. You know, I want people to um, know how the Shop Smart Eat Well program works and start saving money straight away. You know. Stop handing over your hard-earned money to the supermarkets when, you know, if you're spending $200 a week and you can uh, reduce it to $100 a week and still eat really well and um, save that extra $100, you know, in a year you're going to have nearly $5,500. Imagine what that could buy you, you know, a, a airfares to um, Disney, to Los Angeles to see Disneyland or you know, pay off some debts or uh, go on a great summer holiday in the Great Barrier Reef or a cruise or whatever. You know, stop giving your hard-earned money away for something simple as, as food, you know. So that's why today is the day. It's new financial year on Monday. Time to start saving, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the group, uh, with the Shop Smart Eat Well program. And I want you to have it. I want you to know what this is about. I want this group to um, support each other. What I currently do in the group for um, the new members that have joined recently is I share my grocery shopping video, uh, my grocery shopping haul video. So I take a video of everything that I buy and then each night I um, take a photo of the meal that I've made and usually explain the ingredients, where they've come from, whether it was from the freezer or um, the fridge or whatever so I want to um, support you in that way as well I've now introduced a mystery ingredient Monday feature so if you've got a, a really difficult or hard um, ingredient that's just lurking in the pantry and you think I've bought that for something now I can't remember you know but it seems a waste to throw it away just send me a, a private message or post the question in the group and I can give you a whole heap of ideas on how to use it so you don't waste it so the support is here in the group for um, for you to save money and prepare meals and easy meals. Now, I don't go out to work. I work um, here at home in my... Um... Oh, thanks, Melanie. Melanie said she loves the videos and finds them very helpful. I appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> but I do work here at home. I've got two teenage children. I do the school run. I, um, I do... I've got a couple of different businesses, so I... I work work hard here at home. Plus, I like to keep on top of my um, my home and and keep on top of the housework and have my easy, simple routines. So I know what it's like to be a busy mum. I've been doing this since um, I've been doing um, dom running domesplicity.com since my children were um, four and two. So I know what it's like to juggle a toddler. No, he was a wild toddler. Um, just quietly so um i know all of that so and i i love cooking you know i love cooking but i also don't like it when you've gone to painstaking lengths to prepare this wonderful meal of wonderful ingredients and it looks beautiful on the plate i need to go oh i don't like that you know flick that out they can see onion you know the finely diced onion um in a spaghetti sauce so I like to prepare easy, tasty, wholesome meals 
using basic ingredients. You know, you look at the five star restaurants, they still have the same ingredients as you and I do in the kitchen. But it's about, you know, feeding your families food that they basically want to eat. And actually, when you join the group, I ask um, three questions and you've all told me what what you already like to eat. Some people say Mexican. Some people say easy family friendly meals. Some people say meals that you can use in the Thermomix. I don't have a Thermomix, but I'm sure you can adapt a lot of um, recipes to be used in the Thermomix. You've already told me the types of foods that your family like to eat. So that's all you need to buy the ingredients for. So that's how the Shop Smart um, Eat Well program works. And this is how it's done. What you have to do is think of your kitchen like a restaurant. That's the secret. That's the bottom line. And it doesn't matter what type of restaurant it is. It could be a five-star French restaurant. It could be a Mexican restaurant, the local pizza shop, the school tuck shop, anywhere that serves food. Treat your home the same. So I've worked in the tuck shop before. I was a tuck shop convener, so I'll use that um, example. That's the menu. Sausage rolls, pies, hot dogs. Uh, probably not so much, you know, tuck shops are really um, cracking down on what you can serve. You know, schools are cracking down on what tuck shops can serve. You buy the ingredients for what's on the menu. When those ingredients get low, or what you do is you um, you might buy 20 bags of hot dog rolls and you, you'll store them in the freezer. And then the next week when it's tuck shop time, you'll, you'll defrost them. You'll keep the frankfurts in the freezer, any extra butter. Um, make sure this flour is stored well if you're making muffins. Um, you'll go and buy your fresh fruit and vegetables for the week so the children are getting the freshest um, ingredients. You buy everything that you need to create, um, to provide for the food on that menu. And you don't buy more than you need. You know, you don't, if you're going to buy more, you're going to want to make sure that it's stored correctly so that you'll get the full use out of it. You're not going to want to waste any, so you'll store any leftovers. Um, you'll only bake enough um, sort of to keep a week uh, ahead of stock. you that's the bottom line. Treat and run your kitchen just like a restaurant. You could say the same about a Mexican restaurant. You know, they need taco um, taco shells, corn chips. Uh, they might make their own um, tortillas, but, you know, they might buy the tortillas. They have all the meat, all the spices, um, the cheese, the sour cream, the um, avocado for guacamole, <clears throat> the tomatoes to make um, the chili con carne, whatever it is. They make sure that they have all of those ingredients um, stocked up, ready to go to create everything that's on their menu. And that's what you have to do. You have to create your family menu. And that's it. Then you stock everything. You, you go and buy all the ingredients that you need to, um, <clears throat> to make those meals. And then this is where the magic happens. <clears throat> okay, so just say, for example, I'm just thinking, um, just say spaghetti bolognese. That's usually a family favourite. All, all households love um, spaghetti bolognese. So you'll need um, beef mince, tin tomatoes, tomato paste, pasta, um, some vegetables if you want to grate vegetables in there. Um... I think stock, herbs and spices, oregano, basil, um, whatever, and maybe some parmesan cheese. So you know that you need to buy those ingredients to make spaghetti bolognese. And then once you've bought all the other ingredients for all the other meals that your family will eat within that one week, two week period, whatever, you, however, however often you do your grocery shopping, you'll see you can make other things, you know, from the mince for spaghetti bolognese, you could make meatballs, you could make hamburger patties, you could make um, porcupines. I don't know if you know that porcupines are little meatballs with the raw rice in, then you cook them in a tomato sauce. You know, kids love that. Um, so you're going to get variety because you've got all these ingredients 
and you're going to want to use up what's going to expire soon so that's how you create um, like I'm trying to teach people how to um, come up with meal ideas and that's that's how I do it I always look at what needs using up first so even though my kids might like spaghetti bolognese I know that's a meal that I could do in say my second week when I don't have a lot of fresh stuff but I know I've got all the ingredients there so I might have celery and carrot um, to make the base and onion to make the base for um, spaghetti bolognese but I can use celery and other things I can use carrot in other things I can use the onion in other things um, I've always got enough of all of those ingredients to make a wide variety of meals um, think of something else a chicken noodle stir fry you've got chicken you've got noodles you've got vegetables um, I don't buy uh, many ready-made sauces sometimes I might buy something like a teriyaki marinade or something but you've got um, soy sauce um, maybe uh, sesame oil corn flour to thicken the stir fry sauce uh, maybe um, pineapple, a tin pineapple for uh, chicken sweet and sour you've got all these ingredients that it's just like well I've got like my own supermarket at home I can make whatever and I'm going to use up the fruit and vegetables that need um, need going, need using up first so that's why I don't meal plan I always look at what I've got what needs using up first and because all of those ingredients are there for the meals that my family loves that's how I do it that's how I can I don't have to run down to the shop to buy that one ingredient if I'm going to make a cake I know I've got um, self-raising flour and sugar and even if I run out of eggs I know I've got custard powder custard powder is an excellent substitute for egg I've got a recipe that doesn't have a cake recipe that doesn't require um, butter or eggs um, I can make do I don't have to go out and buy four packets of Maltesers and three crunchy bars and um, two packets of Tim Tams to make a chocolate cake just because I saw it on um, someone else's Instagram account I know I can make a, a really nice chocolate cake based on the basic ingredients that I've got home and the kids love it just as much so I'm always just making do using what I've got um, coming up with a variety of the same meals that um, my family like like um, you'll probably if you've been in the group for a while you'll probably see corn meat and vegetables come up sausages and you know bangers and mash roast pork spaghetti bolognese um, tortillas tacos of some kind they could be um, like crumb chicken or crumb fish soft tacos they could be um, rolled up into burritos and baked uh, and filled with either chicken or beef or whatever and then filled out with red kidney beans if I don't have much mince because I know I've always got red kidney beans because it's one of the ingredients that I need to make for my chili con carne so there's always so much variety that I can cook cook with um, a whole variety of the uh, meals I know my family loves um, to talk about um, cleaning supplies I don't go down the cleaning aisle I use water um, or, or a homemade solution of bicarb soda um, vinegar some essential oils if I want it to smell nice um, but just plain water and a microfiber cloth is all I need to clean I do buy bleach if it's a really hard to clean area soap powder I buy a $3.99 box of um, four kilo home brand um, detergent the Coles laundry detergent doesn't um, uh, cleans my clothes wonderfully I use a quarter cup in my eight and a half kilo washing machine I do buy um, a nappy sand type product but whichever one is cheapest toiletries <clears throat> I normally go to the reject shop and I, I've heard rumors that they're um, closing but I hope not because I know I can get like one liter bottles of um, or 900 ml bottles of Tresemme or Pantene you know the really good brand name products from there I've got lots and lots of soap you know I usually buy that from the reject shop too they sell toothpaste underarm deodorant way much way cheaper than the supermarket does and the pharmacies too always have um, you know these discount chemists always have a lot of um, 
discounted uh, toiletries. Um, dog food, you know, my, my dog is 16 years old and he's very, very fussy. He doesn't like dog food very much, but we normally just give him what we eat mixed in with a bit of dog food. So I don't spend a lot of money on um, dog food. I still buy, uh, we still buy schmackos. Excuse me for a minute. I just need to have a little sip of coffee. We've got two cockatiels. I buy the Trill bird seed, which is about six dollars. Um, it just couldn't get any more simple than that. Like, um, I just don't know what else what else to say. That it's just just buy those ingredients. You know, don't think about meal planning. Think more about what you know your family eats. And it's the same for breakfast. Okay, let's go through breakfast. Um, my kids are a bit hit and miss with breakfast, but I I like um, eating breakfast. I um, had this morning uh, Greek vanilla um, flavoured yogurt with a banana and some um, granola. And I've got the ingredients to make my own granola. I know that. I've always got oats. I've always got nuts, um, dried fruit, maple syrup. A little bit of oil that's all you need to make granola and you can add cinnamon or um, nutmeg and some vanilla if you want to add vanilla um, to it that's an easy one to make I did have uh, raisin toast I keep all my bread in the freezer so we can have bread at any time bread rolls whatever um, so there's bread for toast you know the um, kids can have Vegemite peanut butter jam honey, syrup, whatever they like. I could make pancakes. I could make, normally make bacon and eggs, but I'm all out of eggs. So I didn't get eggs um, on my last shop thinking that I would have enough, but we had bacon and eggs for lunch last Sunday and I've done a bit of baking, but I'm not going to go down the shop and buy a dozen eggs and then spend another $50 while I'm there. I'll just wait till the next time. We just won't have any egg-based dishes um, you know, I could. I've got the money there to go and do it, but it's it's not it's not the point. You know, if you're trying to stick to a budget, if you're trying to make do, you know, I stick to my 150 budget. I did go over last fortnight because I did buy a bit of bulk meat because the meat's so expensive um, at the supermarkets. So I've got lots and lots of meat now to see us through for a, a good few weeks. So um, there's bacon sandwiches. If um, the kids want bacon sandwiches, pancakes. Um, yogurt like I've said there's blueberries in the freezer you know if they wanted to add blueberries there's cornflakes there's uh, I think some Nutri-Grain left you know what kids are like with cereal so um, snacks you know I've made muffins um, this week I've still got uh, hot cross buns in the freezer from Easter time so you know the kids if they want afternoon tea or um snacks for school you know there's still hot cross buns in there lunches you know the kids have a sandwich uh, crackers and cheese uh, fruit a home baked snack uh, sometimes I do up a trail mix uh, for my son just with popping corn I just buy the corn kernels and pop them myself could have some nuts in there and some dried fruit and maybe a few chocolate chips He's a really good eater, my son, so I can make lots of things for him. He might take a leftover dinner, like we had corn meat fritters the other night, so he took one of those fritters to school and ate it cold. Um, same for afternoon tea. It's all, you know, home-baked treats or, um, you know, some of these things that I might pick up at the shops that are marked down. Um, sometimes I buy, a, you know, packets of home brand biscuits just to keep the pantry stocked up. Um, you know and I'll buy marked down cakes if they're there and it's in my budget and I know the kids will eat them so uh, desserts you know we have a um, movie night on Saturday nights and we can have an ice cream cone and popcorn I don't you know I've got always got ice cream in the fridge and sometimes I'll buy a box of um, home brand ice 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 creams but I stick to ho Cole's home brand I don't I know what the prices are all the time I'll buy fruit and vegetable that's in season so we're in winter now and you um, you can see all the fruit and veg vegetables have changed you know there's more oranges more citrus
fruits, there's more root vegetables for slow cooking. Um, there's pears and apples are in, in abundance. And then in the summertime, you know, your menu changes. You go to more um, quick and easy type meals like barbecues with salad or grilled chicken, you know, so you don't have to heat up the oven or, you know, the slow cooker is even a good one to use in the summer too for cooking lots of things. So that's basically it. That's the Shop Smart Eat Well program. And it's just about running your kitchen like a restaurant. Just switch, to, you know, forget everything you've ever learned about meal planning. Forget everything you've learned about stockpiling. Forget everything that you've learned, um, you know, along the way. Some gurus said, you know, this is what you've got to do. You've got to sit down with the catalogs every Saturday and mark out, oh, well, that's on special this week. That's on special this week. I'll buy that. Um, you know, I need some of those. I'll buy four of those because, you know, you can get three for five dollars or four for five dollars. I'll do that. Forget it all. Don't worry about it. Just think about your family, whether you're a family of one or two or six or seven. Create that menu. Write down all the ingredients that you need to create those meals. Create a pantry list, a fridge list and a freezer list. Do a stock take to set yourself up of what you've already got and how you're going to use it up. And then each week, fortnight or month, however often you shop, all you're doing is topping up. Topping up those ingredients. That's all you're doing. And um, it's it's what I've what I've known. It's what my how my mother did it, how my grandmother did it. Um, my my mother she grew chocos, passion fruit, pawpaw, and a few other things. And that's all we ate. So she did buy apples occasionally and oranges occasionally, but. Um, you know, she would incorporate a lot of those things that she grew herself into feeding us, <coughs> which um, saved her a lot of money. Dad uh, was a recreational fisherman, so um, he would catch fish and we would um, have homemade fish and chips. But mum just bought the groceries or the food that for the meals that she knew that we would eat. And we had sausage, you know, three meat and veg type meals. Sometimes we'd have savoury mince. Sometimes she'd try to slip um, liver and bacon casserole under our noses and we'd have to eat it and didn't like it. But, you know, that was her trying to uh, make sure that we were fed properly. But um, I really want you to know this stuff. I really want you to um, change all you've ever known about um, grocery shopping and start saving some money and, and do it just like I have. And I want you to stay in the group and watch my videos Share your meals, ask for feedback, uh, ask for ideas. And I think the more that you do it, the more that you'll see, well, you know, that chicken, cabbage and cauliflower that I had in the fridge the other day, I was able to create this wonderful meal, you know, like it's um, it's really great now. I, I know what flavours work with flavours. You know what flavours work with flavours. If you like Mexican food, you know what flavors go into Mexican food, Italian. Hello Rhonda, how are you? Nice to see you here today. You know what the flavors are. If you don't, just Google it. Google is, like I've got lots of recipe books too, but Google is my go-to. I always go to Google. No fancy apps, no fancy, you know, shopping apps or, you know, I don't look at taste. I don't look at, you know, taste.com. I don't look, I just go straight to Google. And if I've got chicken and sweet potato, which I know I have, I always have chicken because I know my family will eat chicken dishes. Sweet potato, it's in season. All I type in is chicken, sweet potato. No commas, no nothing. And it will bring up about 2 million different meals for you to um, choose from. If you want to fine tune it to have it with brown rice, or to have it with pasta, um, or if you like Mexican food, I would type in Mexican chicken sweet potato or chicken sweet potato chicken sweet potato brown rice and you can fine tune it that way you don't have to, it, it's just the best tool and you'll go oh wow that sounds nice you'll look at the recipe and go oh that's a let me just do it let me just do it quickly say um I'll try Mexican Mexican chicken sweet potato 
Mexican chicken loaded sweet potato. So that was one. Um, Mexican chicken sweet potato and black bean skillet. So if you've got black, you know, tins of beans in the pantry for those nights when, you know, you want something quick and easy just to throw it all in. Mexican chicken and sweet potato boats. Uh, it seems, seems to be coming up. A Mexican style spicy sweet potato and chicken bowl. You know, bowls, you know, bowls of food are all the rage these days. And it looks, looking at the picture, it looks beautiful and it's so appetizing. And, you know, if you look through the ingredients and go, well, I haven't got those, um, chipotle chilies that um, the recipe says you know where do I find a Mexican spice specialist you know you don't worry about it you have a little bit of chili powder in the cupboard for um, things that need chili if you'd like chili or just leave it out um, Mexican sweet potato and chicken casserole uh, chicken fajita sweet potato skins that sounds good so you know there's lots and lots of recipes out there it's actually um, bought up 51 million nine hundred thousand recipes so you know you're spoiled for choice and you just if you're thinking about i'm struggling with um what to come up with you know i haven't got much left in the freezer uh this is this is what i'm going to um this is all i've got left i'm going to type it into google and it will help you so what i did the shop smart eat well program i've just explained it to you how it works and what I did with the um, actual workbook is I've streamlined it. I've reduced all the um, complicated or in-depth um, explanations of the process of what you need to do. I've streamlined the process. I've made it easier to follow and understand. And it's no longer $97. I'm not, not doing that anymore. I don't care about uh, making money from it anymore. I just want you to have it. I've reduced it to just $19 uh, for the program where it's got all of the worksheets in there for you to fill out your pantry lists, your stock lists for the fridge and the freezer, which you create your shopping list from. And just for a special today, I've reduced it to just $9. So if you want to start saving money on groceries and do exactly the way that I've done it, it's no longer $97. It never will be again. It's just going to be $19. But until midnight this Sunday, it's just $9. And I'm going to drop the link here in the group. Start setting out your menu. Start thinking about all the things that your family eats. Start thinking about the ingredients that go into those things. Create your lists. Keep those li lists stock. Like I don't even have my stock lists anymore, to be honest. Because I just know. I always know that I need t tin tomatoes in the cupboard. I always need block of cheese I always need bread I always need these things so when I don't see them in my fridge freezer or pantry they're just on my shopping list I might even have six things on my shopping list sometimes and that's more for the next fortnight or the next week so it's um, starting now just nine dollars I'm going to drop the link here in the group um, never hesitate to ask me anything if you want to know um, more money saving tips more organizing tips uh anything like that i do have another group called domestic goddesses in training and at the moment i'm on a 12 month quest to help people um, organize your life and we're um, going through the year through the 12 months a to z so every two weeks is a different letter of the alphabet i'm up to the letter m which is m for money that finishes next wednesday so i'm talking about um, how to save money and how to ha have a lit rich life and a rich lifestyle so that's in the domestic goddesses in training facebook group i'll drop that link here so you can find me here in the shop smart eat well facebook group or in the domestic goddesses in training facebook group so i hope um hope you've learned um a little bit more about how the shop smart eat well program works grab that um program download it it's instant download start reading start writing and start saving and it's the 1st of July on Monday, new financial year, fresh start. Let's, um, let me know how you go. Let me know what you're saving for. Set yourself some saving skulls and stop giving your money to the supermarket and keep it for yourself. It's been great to be here um, with you again today. And also Redlands people, if you see me at Coles Palabar Park, say, say good day. Um, if you have any questions about what to buy or what you think you might need, um, I'm always um, up for a, 
for a chat. So um, just say you know me from the Shop Smart Eat Well group and I'll say hello. I love making new friends. So um, great to see you here again today. Hope you have a great day and a great weekend. And um, for us in Brisbane, it's the end of school for two weeks. So I hope you enjoy your school holidays. And I'll, um, oh, I'm going to tell you now, we're having hamburgers tonight. So uh, I won't do my meet me in the kitchen thing today. So I'll go and take some mints out for um, homemade burgers. And I'll catch you later. So thanks for joining everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye.